Around the Table TV. An experiment merging theatre, discussion and the internet. A global interactive debate. We're holding it at the Tour Leisure Centre in Glastonbury, which is right next to Morrison's, which is very easy to find. October the 31st starts at 12 noon. We're going to go from 12 noon till 7 p.m. and then after 7 p.m. we're going to have a social, uh, interactive social event with open mic, poetry, music, whatever it is people will bring to the stage. We're going to decorate the room up for Halloween, of course, because it's quite a special time. All across the culture, from the pagan culture through to the mainstream culture. Glastonbury is the centre of the universe. It's the beginning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pregnant with possibilities. There'll be a table in the centre of the room with chairs around it. There is no audience, actually. The chairs will be filled by you, and you any, any of you. There are no experts in this uh, event, uh, except for you are the expert. You, know, you have your whole life's experience, which you bring to the table. This whole concept is about the fact that the real conversations that take place in our lives happen in our living rooms, around the table, not in the Houses of Parliament or places like that. The real conversations about the things that are important to us happen around the table. And that's what we're, we're wanting to recreate here in this environment. So you're invited to join in. And the next subject, we're on a 30-minute turnaround. Everyone who is present will be invited to put an idea in a box or a hat and every 30 minutes we will pull out one of those ideas. It'll be discussed around the table. Each person around the table will have 60 seconds at a time to speak. You can speak again, but in order to keep the conversation moving, we will have a limit on 60 seconds per person. Using the metaphor that, uh, that, that our culture is a um, sum total of our collective conversation. It's like an ocean, right? Mm -hmm. Wherever we actually engage with that conversation, we like it using the metaphor of a raindrop falling into the ocean becomes the ocean. So wherever we engage with that conversation we actually it, it changes in some way. It reverberates out like ripples in a pond. And by by broadcasting this live over the internet and having the facility where people out anywhere in the world not only can hear it, they can also come back through Twitter and through um, Facebook and other uh, social networking streams can engage with the conversation and ha have input to it. So actually we, we're recycling it and sending it out again. Like a microphone in front of a speaker, we're kind of amplifying. From that, there is potential to, to make a big difference in the global cultural conversation, which then, at some point, translates into a shift in the global culture. My uh, catchphrase for it all is, in the beginning is the web. This is a whole new phase for humanity. It's like when we came down from the trees, it's like when we discovered fire, it's like when we discovered a wheel. We now have the internet. The conversation that's going on in the internet is, is going on 24 hours a day between zillions of people. You know, like someone said the other day, you know, we are so rich now in what we were so poor in before. And that is the ability to communicate with each other and the ability to have access to information. You used to, you used to have to go to a library, you know, find the book if someone has hadn't got it, you know, check it out, take it back in two weeks, you know, and we weren't even allowed to take out reference books. We had to sit there with a piece of paper and write it down. Now, you know, and, and, and not only that, we write a letter, it takes three days to get there, you know, now we, we like, boom, 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 if the email takes more than 20 seconds, we think it's too long, something's gone wrong. You know? So the internet is transforming our culture, transforming humanity. There'll be an art space, the pyramid of infinite possibility, friendly event. The, the facility is set up in such a way that there are many rooms and there's a children's room and toys and all that stuff. And there'll be a big pot of soup 
and coffee. The Tour Leisure Centre have their own catering facility where they'll be providing meals. There'll be a big screen which will be showing the Twitter feeds and the Facebook feeds so that we can see what people are saying. There are 500 million people on Facebook and there are like out of a world population of 6 billion there's probably at least a billion people on the internet. So reaching for a million is not is not unrealistic. It's about engaging with the conversation that's shaping our culture. Talking about things that are important to you in your life, you know, whether it be local local politics and local politics are just a microcosm of, of, of global politics anyway, or whether, you know, whether it's about war or whether it's about peace or whether it's about the economy, whatever's important to you, this is your opportunity to talk about it with other people and maybe people who have completely different ideas and in that exchange of ideas we you know there's the opportunity for that for our, our own point of view to evolve to, to become more encompassing because you know the pathway to global peace is understanding is in unity in understanding each other um, seeing each other's point of view and finding a way forward that doesn't actually negate anybody else's point of view it takes all points of view on board it's an opportunity for you to expand your own vision your own sense of what it is and also in doing that facilitating that opportunity for other people also around the table around the people that are sitting around witnessing all of this of which they can join in at any point and also giving that opportunity to people all over the world who'd be tuning in to to this conversation Thank you.